The simpler the business, the more money it makes. This is a principle that I've observed lately because sometimes people think the businesses that make the most money are like these crazy softwares, things like that. But sometimes, for example, a business that actually makes a ton of money, like billions, is a business that sells rice, for example, like, you know, rice that you eat. Extremely simple, right? Well, in today's video, I want to share with you a Shopify store that is extremely simple. They sell something very, very simple, but the complexity comes in actually the business model. Doing this online is actually very difficult, but they've been able to do it. And because of the barrier to entry here, they've been able to do $6.8 million per month just through their Shopify sales. Pretty incredible, right? So what I'm talking about is a store called FTD.com. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to break this whole thing down. Now, the cool thing about this is that this isn't just a Shopify store, but they are driving a ton of traffic to Shopify. I'm talking millions per month. So 1.5 million in February, obviously it was Valentine's Day. But the great thing about a business in the flower delivery niche, which is what they do, by the way, if you didn't notice already, is that there's always special occasions to send flowers for, right? Whether it's for your mom, whether it's for a relative, whoever it is, right? Uh, your significant other, people love flowers. Girls specifically love flowers and there's always an occasion to be sending flowers. If you're a smart guy, you'll keep it in your mind to always find more occasions to send flowers. But that's besides the point. That's why this business is so genius. And what I really love about it, first of all, is the simplicity, right? One of their biggest value adds really is that they allow for same day delivery. So you can send these bouquets, same day delivery. That's pretty crazy, right? And it's cool because even though they are pricey, they're not that pricey. Like this is a really beautiful bouquet and it's 53 to, okay, $68, but I can order it today. I can get it within three hours and six minutes. So that's what's so impressive about this brand to me is that they've been able to pull off this model. I mean, it sounds really difficult. I don't know how they would do this, but they are able to do it. And they're so simple. The Shopify store is so simply done. But personally, this is what I'm a big fan of. I love stores that are totally crushing it, that are extremely simple. The simpler the store, the more impressive it is to me, to be honest with you, because you know, I think it's actually easy to add a lot of complexity to a store and make it look good, but I don't know if that actually makes it better for the customer long term for actually buying. I think it kind of distracts the vision from making the product and system amazing to making it look amazing, which will not be sustainable in the long term. Hopefully this makes sense. I know some of these concepts can be advanced, but look guys, I've been sprinkling some pretty good beginner videos for you lately. Let me have my advanced videos here, okay? Because I love discussing these things at like the highest level possible. Even so, to the level of you know, this company, they actually used to be a public company. They were traded on this, in the stock market, but they were defunct back in 2019. So that means they were taken off the stock market. They fell off and had to go back into being a private company. The reason I mention that is because for a lot of people, it seems like at least the big businesses, it seems like a holy grail of entrepreneurship is to reach public company status. But I almost feel like for an e-commerce brand, the worst thing you can do is go public because people just hate e-commerce brands besides Amazon, right? People just love Amazon so much and they f investors fear that Amazon is such a strong competitor in the e-commerce landscape that they just don't invest in these e-commerce businesses. And because of that, you know, your valuation will crash and burn. So if you are a company thinking of going public, if you're in the e-commerce space, just don't keep it private and keep growing it as much as possible. Um, so these guys are estimated to be doing 100 to 500 million, which makes sense. I would say for these guys, this is another high level thing I've been saying lately. If you're a billion dollar company out there and you want to 2X your valuation in the next year, put some Bitcoin on your balance sheet. That's all you need to do. But yeah, one thing I think this company, interestingly enough, is not really doing at all is going hard on short form content. I don't know why, but they really should be doing more with this. I mean, they are doing some stuff with it, but they're not maximizing it. And what I mean by that is they're not running really any of it as ads, for example. This is a really easy way to amplify great, relatable looking content that blends in very well on your feed. This is not how a lot of people are approaching paid advertising, especially the bigger brands, which is surprising to me because you'd think they have, they would have people on their teams that understand how the machine works 
and how the algorithms work and how content works. But you know, when you really think about all that, it's hard for them to have those people on the team because those people are very rare that understand all of those things. You know, that's why our company is so valuable because we do understand all of those things and how they blend together. But these big companies are not really thinking about that, right? Their eyes are somewhere else, but they could see a huge ROI in doing something as simple as that, just literally taking their content that is really good and relatable, such as something like this, right? Some of these reels and amplifying them with meta ads. It's really that simple, but they're not doing that. And I think there's huge room for opportunity there. But ultimately that kind of covers it. I don't want to get too deep here. I think we covered a lot of interesting stuff. I found this story to be very interesting and it's inspiring. I think more people should start businesses or, or take their businesses online, right? If you are a flower delivery business in a local area, for example, which is probably how this brand got started, take it online, get on Shopify. There's no reason not to do it. And especially now with platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, you can amplify your content significantly with very little effort. And that has huge impacts on your business, especially on your business growth, which is needed if you wanna thrive long-term. So that's about it for this one. I'll see you in the next one, peace.